Hey guys, welcome to Farmer Simulator. So as you can see, I've played a little bit today. Went around this field once. This is field number nine. Yep. And then it started to go into a second bit so I could record the route to tip at the farm for that guy over there. Also, I cultivated the field that we first harvested down below, field nine. No, field 12. Getting confused, so we'll get this guy going. Uh, so, I uh, got some good news for the baler, and that is... I managed to... Get him stuck in. Now there's another baler that this combine combine no trade is compatible with. Um, it's on FS UK. It's red. I've forgotten the name. I took the bale files from that and put them into the class combine class combine. I've got combine on the brain. Sorry. Um, class baler. So, I did that, whether it's me doing that, and it's working, I think that is the case. So, I learned a little bit about that, got that sorted, you can see I picked up one load, and then I sold two extra bales from here, I just wanted to pick them up with the telehandler, wanted to make sure I got the sell point correct on the farm, and I was so I know where that is now. Uh, I was browsing around on YouTube earlier and Chris seventy seven posted a video and he I don't usually watch farming some videos but I've been looking in there his videos to get ideas for mods. You gotta be careful with his mods because well his mods he's using in the game because he tends to change them a lot. Now he was using this to put tram lines in the fields like sort of real tractors are when they're spraying or whatever run over the crop you get the lines in there and he was using that to spray so I may attempt that at some point but here's a piece of equipment for the uh, subsoil it's washable but within two seconds it's dirty again it just gets dirty real quick so I don't think I'll ever bother washing that thing off again and nothing is with Chris is he says where he gets them from and if you ask him sort of where, he'll tell you where, but he won't put a link. Most of the time I'll put links in my stuff. Unless it's a real easy one to find. And to be fair, this was fairly easy. Oh, what else is new? Nothing really. combine was too far away. How far away is the combine? It's not that far. Not that combine's on reach. Doesn't need to, but I'm interested to see if it will actually. Oh, yeah, he's going to be cool. For a behind combine. He's going to go through the rock. I hate it when he does it. Never mind. Also, another mod I installed uh, is. Where is it? The GPS mod. I ain't gonna really showcase that too much in today's video. Because I'm learning it myself. What I shall do, though, is do a bit of grass cutting. Before we get to that field number two down there. Oh, what's that? Some bells it. It's something to test. Where are they? There. So, also, I'm pretty sure I'm coming down with cold. Yay! 
throat sore and a couple of other people here have got a cold too, so I'm pretty sure I got it. It sucks. It sucks because it's my last few weeks in Canada, but I'm hoping it just goes before I fly out because I've flown once before having a cold. And it wasn't pretty. So obviously you're going up at an altitude and yes I know the planes are pressurized. But you still get that effect and oh, it was it's evil on the head. I get real bad sinus problems when I have a cold. So I'm gonna be doing quite a bit of recording tonight. I've got this video and another video I wanna do. I don't know though, but I've got a horrible suspicion I'm not going to be able to get my usual week's worth of videos out. Just because of the amount of time it takes to upload and whatnot. We shall try though. Actually, you know what? I may go do. You feel down there, looks kind of better. really want to get some animals in this fairly quick, so that's why I'm doing this. Ain't gonna bail it or anything, God, I believe that's it there. He needs some Well, that on anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, I need to do something up here. Oh, the real one's on there. And of course, now I'm running over, and that middle one's disappeared. Ah, bugs me when I do that. What I like to see with the uh, textures there, you can clearly see what parts you can cut, and there is a clear difference in the grass you can mow. Some textures ain't that nice. <laughs> like the stock one, you can barely tell. I really struggle this way, you have to see the camera down like that to be able to tell. Can be a nightmare. Uh, I'm gonna go stop and check. Headland on this first. So, what I'm going to do that while it's looking after itself, 
don't think so. Don't even need a quick drink. That's my throat is pretty here. Uh, hurting right now. Now this sucks as well because today, if you're watching this, as long as this video gets uploaded in time, I'm at Bills. By the time you watching this, I will be definitely at Bills. So these mowers here, these are off of FSUK. Uh, I believe you can get them on Mod Hosted too. They are fantastic. Mowers. Guaranteed to work out every time. Alright, that'd be a perfect time to go check. Just in case any of you want to be able to watch this. So these are two fields, uh, one field here. I uh, thought it'd be easier, I just started down at the bottom map where you saw yesterday I left the combine off and just drove it straight up. And then turned to do the route there. Fantastic combine is. And it has something, in my opinion, all mods should have working mirrors. Without any issues, without any glitching, they work well. I'm so glad the next version of Farm Sims got mirrors. It's awesome for people that like driving in the cab. You see me, I hop in between them all. Some mods put you in cabs like this straight off the bat. Again. It would be nice to have real working mirrors in this guy. But we're gonna have that soon enough. Don't know how true it is neither, but from news on the grapevine is What is it to put down the front? Oh. Oh, I see how they do it. Okay. Makes sense. And I know why you went up now last time. Um, I don't like so I don't know if it's true or not, but GTA for PC is rumored to have first person view. I know there's a mod out for the 360 and no doubt PS. So. PS3 that can do the same. I think that'd be epic. Don't know how many of you are GTA fans, and I don't know if I will when it comes out on PC because I am getting it. I've been a fan of GTA since I was a young kid. Younger than I should have been playing with it. Yeah, fantastic game. In that game, I just like the open world aspect to it. It's one of the main reasons I play that game, and it's always has been. 
screw around in cars and you can go off do missions and then you can come back if you get bored and do missions. <laughs> Got big respect for games where you can go off, do what you want, you're not restricted. I might actually go along with Winry and do some of these up properly. too much. Like I say, I don't really care if I get every last bit. Is that me or is the PTO speed? I don't know. Oh, I missed this section. Oh, never mind. Mows are up now, I can't be asked. Take these back up, put on the forage harvester. Actually, now I go back down to the farm, get the wind rower, then the forage wagon. And then we'll be good to go. I'm not sure if this track gets dirty, the more realistic one did. This one doesn't seem to be. May see if there's a newer version. Oh no, and for some reason this one doesn't get dirty. Now, this is available from FSUK for anyone wondering. There's two versions, the more realistic and the non more realistic. It's definitely not got dirty, and the more realistic version, the way that got dirty and the texture was great, looked awesome. Down you go. Forward and drop. I need to detach the PTS. I forgot about that. It's definitely uh, a unique mod, this one. Like I said, though, it works and it works very well. Uh, da -da -da -da, where are we? Touch video, transport position. You know, that really makes no difference. Just the width. Grab my front weight. this. This is from Mod Hoster, I believe. And why have I got 1% in there already? Never done anything with it. Interesting. I'm 
general combine in. Oh, he's filling up. The trailer's almost full too. Uh, you've got one more pass left on this side too, so I'll have to come back fairly quick. And check up on you. Oh, I was going to get my wing row too. Uh, I can bring this trailer down. It's pretty much on the road. Oh, oh, oh. oh, right. Too fast. <laughs> the trailer's just. And again. The trailer's skating out from the back of the tractor. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, you can get the wing rower. It's the extra one in the way. Because I'm pretty sure the tractor comes in through these ones. What does it? I can't remember. It's probably actually on its way around. I would imagine. So I'm just curious. Uh, how are you guys enjoying this map? Something that uh, I kind of like, that's for sure. Map that definitely caught my eye back in the day, anyway. That's a shitter though. Ah, old school shitter. Nice. So this first load's gonna go into the sheep. And then whatever's left will go into storage for cows. Some bales probably won't use the auto loading for the feeder. We we'll get another one. I want to use some equipment that I've never used before. Farming sim, I've always taken the lazy way out. Kind of regret doing that now because there's a lot of the equipment I've never used. Anyone wondering, this is a stock piece of equipment. Don't have any windrows that are modded per se. I've got the classic DLC. I think. Not for some reason, passing the modded section. Well, I think we're done. Other than that one little row there. That is awesome. I just need to. Chuck this back and connect up to the. Right, Curiosity's got the better of me. Connect up to the forage wagon. Yeah, it is. Oh, 
old school shit. Wow, doesn't surprise me if it is an old outhouse. House I sort of grew up in. My house I pretty much only knew as a kid. It was an extremely old house, and you go to the top of the backyard, and there was old toilet there. Well, it was just a hole in the ground. So I remember it. Don't remember too much about that now because it always had crap in it. Just used it as a little shed. So I got along with the massive one my dad had in the back garden that pretty much took half of the back garden, yard, whatever you want to call it. Up. Underneath that was a really old wow. Always said if there wasn't a massive concrete pad over it, it would be nice to open it up, put the old bricks around it, a little white owl, a winding sort of winching and bucket just to add a feature to it, but he had a lot of stuff in that shed. Shed was falling apart, it was pretty much done when he left the place. Okay, let's start that one first, so I think I'll get on that one. And watch how quick this fails. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty quick. I understand this can hold quite a bit. But of course, we got quite a bit in these wind ribs. I don't know if these are used in the UK. They probably are. I've never seen one personally. This is a more realistic mod. I'm gonna have to look into that because this. Is... Well, look at the way it's handling there. I could write a course play for this, but because of where it's going to begin with, I'm not going to. Oh, actually, speaking of which, where is the sheep? Damn, the sheep will go down there. Oh well, I'm taking a long trip, I need to go over to the combine area anyway. Any minute, I'll go back down to the. There you go, see? Let's see, actually. I wouldn't be too surprised if we see Emma in front of the name. Emma, yep. More realistic. There's two versions of it. I went for the more realistic version, I remember now. And whoever scripted this did a good job.
I can't make it up the hill with this. Uh, makes me want to get a more realistic tractor back in the game. If it is, it may actually whoa be the JCB. So the next video I do, I may put it back in. I may just edit up the price. That'll be old school job. Yeah. Old decisions. Did I miss my turn? You know what? I don't think it did. It was enough field harvest. Cool. I do remember this map when I first played it. I <laughs> took me a while to get used to it. The only reason I think the trailer is acting like this is because the tractor is not a more realistic tractor. The trailer's got realistic weight to it, yet the tractor doesn't. That's something I think they fixed with the new version. Farm Sim is the tractors actually feel like they have weight, and well, yeah, mods you can't really go by, but stock equipment, even that, kind of throw it around like it's a sport car. where our sheeps would be. Yeah, I can't even move this. Let's... Fill them up real quick. That's enough for six days. News to me. I need to get some speed ups. Nothing's been put in this field. Whoa. Yet. We've done this, put it in the silage pit. After this video, I'm gonna get it started rendering. Mm -hmm. Why did you stop? Oh, are you kidding me? How long have you been going? I hope you switched off. Oh, you didn't, too. You've been costing me. You son of a bitch. Be gone with you. Okay, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Oh, come off it. Hope you enjoyed today's video.
and hopefully you get to see it on the day it's supposed to be, that being Thursday. As always, I'll catch you tomorrow, in theory. You may not see a video tomorrow, I'm just going to let you know now, I can probably almost guarantee you'll see this one. But, you may not see a video Friday, I will try my best. If you don't see that video, I'm still going to record it, you'll see it Saturday or Sunday. Catch you guys later.